Let's go on Blaze Series. We're working to build that community to allow for discussion, providing specifications you can relate to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases. We're going to be looking at this knife here from Yobo Tool. Uh, There's a new company. Uh, so first off, to build confidence in this brand, uh, I did actually send this out for metal testing. So Kurt, thank you very much for allowing to not do that uh, for the community because it's something I've been looking at for a long time, but I'm not going to be spending 16 to 30 plus thousand dollars on a metal tester. I don't have the Rockwell testing uh, unit, but he does. Uh, so excellent for that. So this did come back as being uh, actually VG10. Uh, so that's what they actually list on the blade. Uh, but you're not going to be actually able to know that uh, for a new brand. You're going to kind of take it at face value. And as a new brand, it's kind of hard to build that confidence level. Uh, so first off, Yobo Tool, uh, proper steel, VG10 is what they have it listed. VG10 is what it is. And also for this one, uh, as far as a Rockwell hardness uh, for it, uh, they actually came out with 58.8. Uh, so that's the testing here. Uh, so that's what he provides. Uh, so this one uh, was tested against uh, the SOG knife. Uh, so SOG with their VG10. Uh, so they don't actually have it in their system. So that's why it says no match here, uh, but it actually is the appropriate steel in comparing the two. So very good on that. So for the giveaway side of things, uh, we are gonna be having that come up. I guess it did surpass 500 subscribers, which is great, excellent. I still remember when it had like 100 subscribers. And then, so it's really come a long way. So I appreciate the folks that have been kind of along for that journey. Uh, so if you want to check out that video, uh, leave a comment on that one as well, if you want to be part of that giveaway, because uh, we have five knives that are going to be in that giveaway for that. Uh, so check it out. And then also it seems kind of weird for us to ask for subscribers, but it's really kind of that scorecard or that grading as far as how we're doing, if it's the content that you guys like to see. Uh, so uh, that's why that's kind of, asked for within videos because really for YouTube they consider kind of a thousand as being kind of that legitimacy for a channel so that's kind of where we're kind of striving towards as far as the other channels as well so great on that one uh, so this is the second knife uh, for Yobo Tool the first one was the Aurora which is uh, something that started on Kickstarter then we went to Silverback and then we have the newest one available on Amazon as well which is the Cayman uh, so check those out if you want to now see what the brand's all about. And then something I was able to kind of play around with. So if anybody's seen the CRKT Jettison, uh, this is one that I was able to customize. And it's kind of a fun little task to get into. Uh, the Jettison had kind of a, a little uh, hump on the blade. So I did pick one up where that was kind of profiled and I had to clean it up a little bit. And then I did add you know, some of this texturing that actually does add uh, some uh, actual grip to it. Uh, so that was something kind of played around with as far as just a Dremel bit. So kind of playing with that. Let me know what you think about that as far as uh, some modifications. Uh, so that was that little fun little task. And I actually really do uh, like that uh, knife. And this is actually on a uh, Teflon uh, washers, which is pretty, pretty smooth. So this is actually going to be tip up right hand only uh, for this blade. And then so that is the pocket clip on there. Could use a little bit more refinement for it because it's a little bit uh, sharp around the edges uh, in comparison to some others that are kind of that stamped uh, steel. Uh, so that's how that is carried for that. But we're gonna look at some of the hand sizing. So starting off with the adult female's hand, kind of across, and then at an angle where you're gonna be normally carrying it. And then we're also gonna be having uh, the adult male hand and that's gonna be across for that one. And then also at an angle where you normally carry that one too. So as we already talked about as far as VG10, so we're going to go over some of the uh, things with this steel. Uh, so we'll start off with corrosion resistance for it on the chart here as far as where that stands for the other ones. And then we'll go into the hardness. And then we did actually cover the hardness specific to this one. Uh, so that one's going to be at that 58.8 uh, uh, for Yobo Tools VG10. Uh, so that might be a little bit different than the chart. And then we have wear resistance. And the last one's gonna be that uh, combination of everything. Uh, so that's gonna be the edge retention as far as having that usable edge uh, for that time period. Uh, so that's gonna be some of the things for that. And then we also do have uh, for the channel, the lime and pull gauge, which you use for uh, the, uh, the flipper tabs. So about two to three is kind of really an enjoyable level. 
uh, as far as ounces uh, for a pull. And then so we're going to get that on this flipper tab, kind of see where we are uh, for this one. This one's a little bit higher, uh, so it's still uh, somewhat enjoyable, but uh, three pounds, uh, 13.6 uh, ounces, so almost four pounds. So it's a little bit higher than uh, what would be kind of an enjoyable level. Uh, but with that, it is really uh, locked down well. So that detent in the close position, you don't have any rattle or anything with it. The blade's solid there. And then also in the open position, it's also going to be solid. Uh, so uh, this is running on uh, ceramic bearings, uh, which is a very good thing uh, for this brand as well. So that's going to be how that works. Uh, this one has the two deployments, so light switch as well as push button. Uh, it does not work in inertia uh, flipping, uh, so it does stay in there. So with that detent, you can't actually shake it out, uh, but it does have the push button and also uh, for that light switch uh, manner for that. So no thumb studs on it. So that's going to be how you're going to be deploying this blade. And then you can actually look also on the knife roll as far as how this is going to sit in your pocket. Uh, it's not a deep carry clip uh, for it. Uh, so that actually is one of the areas that is probably uh, one that would be kind of the negative to it as far as the clip itself. So I did actually, the spacing on it is pretty universal. Uh, so I'm going to show you some pictures as far as, I guess, if you like this style or if you think that it looks better uh, with uh, a Kaiser Dukes clip or I also have a CRKT, uh, which is the GSD clip. So I guess between Kaiser, the factory one, and the GSD, I guess, what do you like better out of those? So that's kind of that comparison there. So if you do want to get a different clip for it, um, you have options for that. Uh, so this one actually is uh, about 4.6 ounces as far as what they list uh, for the weight on this. Uh, actually came out a little bit less. So 4.3 is what that came up on the scale uh, for this blade. And also looking at the pocket microscope, uh, we're going to see uh, as far as the serrations on this one, so it's not a super fine edge on it, uh, so you're going to still have those grind lines uh, that you can have be visible uh, for it as far as that microscope view. So now for the length of the blade and also the handle, uh, so they listed at 3.5 and then I got about a 3.79. So maybe they're going from cutting edge um, more than the full blade. And then also for the handle side, they have 4.5. And then I got about 4.69, as you can see on those different uh, measurements for that. Sharpness side, uh, a little bit lacking uh, for the sharpness. Uh, so this one came in uh, at uh, 4, uh, 427 as far as that total. Uh, so 427 uh, is probably, it's in that area where it probably needs a little bit of maintenance. Uh, I did use it uh, a little bit uh, at work, uh, but very minimally. Uh, but that's where I got 427 for the testing, which is kind of in uh, that moderate rolled edge uh, for the blade. I ran it through uh, the mouse trap, which I got from uh, Razor's Edge, and then ran that through five times, and I got that down to 295. So 295 is in that new high-end cutlery, so it maybe had a little bit of that edge that needed to be straightened out a little bit, so it did have an improvement. Uh, just from that quick little run through on those steels. Uh, this one runs for $79. So you can get through Amazon. Uh, so I'm going to include some links down below for uh, the three blades, the Aurora, the Silverback, and also the Cayman. And then that is going to be um, Amazon affiliate links. I still haven't made any sales on it. So if I don't make any sales, I won't have affiliate links anymore. So if you do want to pick it up, uh, check out those links. And you can really buy anything through those links. And then that kind of helps out the channel as well. So for this one, uh, there is a few things as far as, so the buy bar or avoid for this blade, is gonna be different whether you're uh, really an enthusiast for it or whether you're gonna be gifting it or maybe this is gonna be the only knife that you're gonna pick up. Because uh, uh, it does have kind of integral uh, look to it. So this is not an integral knife, but it does look like it as far as the styling. And again, it is very good as far as the play, uh, very solid locks as far as detent and also the open position for it. Uh, but there are probably two things uh, that are 
kind of uh, pushing it from a uh, definite buy uh, to more of a borrow uh, because uh, for the pivot itself, uh, this one is a free spinning pivot. Uh, so without heating it up or doing anything differently, um, I tried to loosen this one. I also tried to loosen the one on the Aurora. Uh, so they are both free spinning. Uh, so you cannot make your fine adjustments that you want to. Um, you can't disassemble it without more work. So I would recommend for Yobo Tool um, to either uh, well, have a captured pivot or um, just put another uh, torque set on this side so you can actually use two tools to actually disassemble and assemble the knife. And then maybe even if you want to use, still use your logo, uh, move it onto the blade uh, right in this level here or some other location. But I uh, do like as far as not a lot of billboarding uh, for the knife. So that's a good thing uh, for it. So those are things that kind of move it from a definite buy to more of a borrow for enthusiasts. But if this is going to be a knife that you're going to give give away, if this is going to be a knife that you're going to be up for a user, it's going to work out pretty well for that. Uh, and then that would be just that buy level uh, for it. And again, pocket clip. Uh, so a little bit sharper on the edges. So if they could refine that a little bit more. Uh, so if you refer back to uh, this one here. So we're going to look at some of the sizing for it. Um, but this is going to be that Duke's uh, clip and the actual edges are a little bit more refined uh, than this the one that is more stamped out and then a uh, bent and this one seems to be stamped, uh, bent and then uh, finished or finished and then bent, one of those. So this is going to be the knife here. We're going to look at kind of the mini griptilian. And then we have a Delica. Then CRKT, we have the, the LCK, the full size Griptilian, then that Kaiser Dukes, and the Dukes, that action is just amazing. So if you haven't experienced the Dukes, I would recommend that too. And this one's a Magnum Alligator, and then the Rat number two. So those are all the different comparisons for it. So check it out. Let me know in the comments down below as far as what you folks think. Uh, but uh, good start, Yobo tool. A uh, little bit more refinement, I think, than you could really be a contender uh, for it. Uh, but this one is at $79 uh, for uh, this one here. So check it out. Let me know in the comments. And thank you again for your time.